One of the myths about cervical cancer prevention um, that I wanted to spell is that uh, the vaccines can cause an HPV infection or potentially cause cervical cancer, and that's totally not true. The vaccines are non-infectious. They don't cause genital warts or cause cervical cancer, okay? Um, by design, they can't do that. Uh, another myth is that if, 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 if a woman doesn't have any symptoms, then she can't get cancer. And that's the, uh, that's, that's the scary thing about this cancer. By the time someone actually has symptoms, such as uh, irregular bleeding or pain during intercourse, sometimes the cancer has already happened. And the idea behind screening is to pick it up at the microscopic phase before it actually becomes a cancer. The, th the third myth is that I'm not at risk for getting cervical cancer. Um, and that's just not the case. Um, everyone is at risk for getting cervical cancer. Um, all it takes is just a little bit of exposure to HPV and you might potentially uh, get cervical cancer. We as physicians cannot predict it. We don't have that crystal ball of markers to know who are the ones that actually get cervical cancer, who are the ones that don't, which is why we have screening in order to, in order to identify the women that are at risk for getting cervical cancer. Another myth is that condoms don't protect against HPV infection, and it actually has been shown very elegantly that condoms do protect H against HPV infection, but obviously there might be some things that happen before the condoms go on. There might be some uh, unexposed areas of skin that also might actually cause some transmission of, of HPV as well. But when used effectively, condoms are actually very effective at preventing HPV, not to mention the fact that condoms are very effective at preventing a whole host of other sexually transmitted infections as well.